Hello, welcome to a new SketchUp video. Um, in my last video, I got a request to do a video on... Let's see here... Uh, constructing an interior, like a room, and incorporating pre-made designs from the 3D asset warehouse. Like furniture. And I thought that's what we do in this video. Um, you may notice this is SketchUp 2017 instead of tw 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 2016, like in the last video. And, you know, I, uh, that's the one you can get from the website now. You can't get 2016 anymore. So I figured I'd use this. It's basically the same thing from what I can tell. But I don't have one of my extensions, which I miss. But that's fine. We'll live without it. Um, what you should know before you get into this video is how to use these tools, and these tools, and these tools. I'll explain them a little bit as I'm using them, but you know, you might want to go back and watch my previous video just so you're caught up. And yeah, let's just get started. In 2016, they have a nice little lady with a paint can, and in 2017, they have generic man. Ain't that something? Uh, <clears throat> okay, so designing a room. Let's just get started with our floor. Pretty good floor right there. Sending it down a little bit because everything's gonna snap to the grid, right? And you don't want it to be above the grid then, because then it's gonna kind of try to snap into the floor, which not too big of a problem, but it's a little inconvenient. We don't want that. And then we're gonna make some walls. This is the offset tool. We just grab an edge here, and then we can pull that out, make some nice thin walls. We're going to want a doorway as well. So this is the rectangle tool. Snap onto that edge, snap onto this one. Can erase this line. Now we can raise our walls, like so. But that'll be hard to see into for now, so we're just going to lower those back down. All right? You with me so far? Excellent. Now, <clears throat> What I want to do usually is I make a drawing of what I want the room to look like before I start building, like a really rough one. Just like, oh, bed here, door there, glasses, paint can, knives, dead body. But we don't have that right now, so we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, maybe like plot it out just a little bit with the rectangle tool and then find pre-made furniture on the warehouse that we can use. So I think, uh, you know, I want a bed there. We could go for like a like a desk right here. Maybe grab a trash can. Definitely want a lamp. Could go right there. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, a little uh, bedside table could be nice. Um, I think that could be good. We could also grab some kind of carpet, maybe put right there. Oh yeah, chair. We need a desk chair, of course. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, um, can always place our man right here, put him in the corner. All right, so 3D warehouse. It's in window, and then you get fuck, window, and then you get down here, and you have extension warehouse and 3D warehouse. Extension warehouse is for plugins, which they call extensions for some reason. Whatever flows the boat, you know. So we want the 3D warehouse. And this is what it should look like when you open it up. A little information, little sponsored things, I suppose. Just nice houses. Staff picks, that's what they are. <laughs> and what I should get into right before we start looking for stuff. Um, most things in the warehouse have licenses and conditions and agreements. But this is a little bit of a gray area. But um, I don't worry about that most of the time because I'm not using entire houses with furniture in them and then like as 3D models. I'm grabbing a chair, I'm grabbing a bed, I'm grabbing a rug from different places and they're all you know one thing and I'm putting them together into a bigger thing and then I'm screenshotting that and drawing on top of it so it's you know entirely my drawings afterwards and I change things right so it's 
like I said, it's a gray area, but I don't feel that you're violating any agreements as long as you're doing all that. Now, it's a completely different thing if you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to make this 3D model and I'm going to sell it with these pre-made things in it. Like, that would just not be cool. Um, same thing if you're just, like, giving the product out. I probably wouldn't use pre-made things in that either. Definitely not selling it. Does that make sense? So it's like a, sort of a fair use argument, I suppose. Anyway, um, yes. So we wanted a bed. You could also search for like bedroom here, and it'll give you just like entire bedrooms. But that's a little boring, so we're not going to do that. Just bed. And I'm imagining this as like a really basic basic white boy house room, because that's what I am. So we'll grab a very ordinary bed. Hmm. This one looks very nice. Nope. Doesn't seem to have any exclusive rights or anything. So it's probably fine. Even if, again, I usually don't care about that. But yeah, you can see this person's name right here, so if you want this exact thing, you know where to find it. And then you just click load directly into your SketchUp model. Yes. Now, it will appear in the size that he built it, right? So if it's huge, it's going to appear huge in your project. So, you know, just be careful for that. But this one was not too big, which is nice. But... So you can see it's the wrong dang way. So we're grabbing the rotate tool, pretty obvious, but it's not that obvious how to use it. Cause you see, if you fucking move this onto things, it like flips and stuff. And yeah, it's just not cardinal directions. So usually what I do is I grab a thing out here, pull it out like this, it's snapped, right? You rotate it like this. See how I did that? Click it. Click it again. Right? Okay. Now we can move this back into place. This one does have a bedside table on the side. I did not see that. And we're going to get rid of that because we want our own bedside table. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so, this is also a component, which I haven't gotten into yet, but basically it's a uh, well you know imagine like a layer imagine like a group of layers in photoshop so when i click into this it like grays out this area because we're only in this component right and then we can gray into this component which is very this is handy the good work whoever built this also this is beautiful i don't know how they did that in sketchup anyway yeah um we're just gonna get rid of this one so now we have just the bed which is what we wanted Grab the move tool, just move this right into place. Beautiful. But we did want it to be a little bit longer, and this is a good time for not the rotate tool, you fool. Uh, scaling, the scale tool, which we have not talked about. So, see, uh, you grab the item, the component, whatever you want to call it, and then you have all these points, right? Now, it's a little finicky, but you should just be able to grab these, like so. Stretch them out. But if you want it to be completely uniform, then you gotta go on these on the side. Does that make sense? So these are not uniform. These boys are uniform. Right. But we want it a little longer, but not too long or it'll start looking weird. And then maybe it's just a little hint bigger. See? Beautiful. That's a bad fit for a boy. Might even be able to just... We Jump in on the bed at your age? You should be ashamed. Okay, uh, where were we? Right, we need a desk. 
Back in the 3D warehouse we go. <clears throat> Still have this open from last time, which is very handy. Um, desk. Let's see. Well, it's a little too basic, maybe. This is a desk. Oh, here's what we're looking for. Nice black desk. See now in particular demands or conditions here, right? No. Made by Lily XO. Thank you very much. 28 polygons. Good to know. Just load that into our scale. Oh, it's a big boy. So, then we want to rotate this again. Wait, didn't snap properly there. Like, so. Oh my god. There you go. Want to scale this down just a little bit. Maybe like so. Move it right back into our beautiful, beautiful room. Wait, that's a. That desk a little too big. Maybe. Shrink it down. A little longer, like so. So you see, there's just like an infinite amount of like changes you can make to make it your own. And I would still argue that these belong to the other people, and you should probably give rights to them if you're going to use it commercially or redistribute it, or you know, sell it, do anything like that. But again, because we're we're going to be painting over it later, we're going to make it our own. I'm going to say it's fine, but it is a gray area, and I'm sorry. Um, yes, let's just keep finding stuff. Let's grab a lamp. This is a nice little desk lamp. 5,000 polygons, you know what? Alright, mister. What the f- Is it really that tiny? Is that- is that the lamp? Is this- am I crazy? What is happening? Wow, that's a small lamp. Alright, I guess that's the kind of stuff you gotta be prepared for when you delve into the 3D warehouse. And we're just gonna rotate this one a little bit. Like so, so it's not just facing one direction. I can immediately tell this product got a little laggier, just because this is so friggin' intense. But anyway, yeah. Now we could go for a desk chair. Beautiful. Again, that's a lot of polygons. I'm not sure I'm into that. But we'll go for it. Scale this bad boy right up. Flip him. Beautiful. Everybody with me so far? Nothing too complicated, right? Excellent. And then we can also go back, just remove these lines. Because we have filled them out already. Right? Perfect. Um, big lamp. And we want kind of a big old stationary lamp like this. That'll look, that'll look nice. Really want to scale this one up. That looks good. So it's like, so far it looks pretty nice. Like we have not too many clashing colors. This could be black. But I'm not going to go that far to change colors because I don't know how. I always do that in Photoshop. Um, so I think we'll grab a little bedside table. 
and then maybe a rug, and then we'll call that done. Now, a nice black one to match our desk. Very dark brown bedside table, indeed. Want this to be just a little bit bigger. But we don't want to go in through the wall. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. Rugs. Carpets, that's what you can call those as well. These are not... This one's pretty nice, yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Okay, this one's pretty big. So, just grab our scale tool and scale it right down. And as I mentioned before, they could slide it right into the floor. And what you want to do in the case of that is you want to grab the bottom side, not the upper side. Because if you grab the upper side, it's going to try to fit it into. <clears throat> voice crack. It's going to try to fit it into the floor, right? And we don't want that. We want it on top. So now it's going to put the bottom part of the rug on the floor. That makes sense? And now our chair is clashing a little bit. So we might want to move that up on top of the thing. Now it's floating in the air. We don't want that. There you go. I mean, that would not work in real life, because he's going to be sliding all over that. He's going to go off and on. It's not going to work. But, you know what? This is SketchUp. It's fine. Remove all these little lines. See, that's a very basic, but a nice room. And we built that in, what, like, 10 minutes? 15? Minus all the explaining. Nice. And then we can raise the walls back up. Now we have a nice claustrophobic little room. And we can move our boy right in. He's a little small. Oh wait, he's not even on the floor. Can you sit the fuck down? Now he's merging with the floor. You know what? That's fine. Nice big boy for a nice small room. We could even make a little window alright thanks for coming to the video I hope this could explain anything um if you have any requests for similar tutorials or anything else, just drop a comment below and subscribe for more and check out my Patreon. I need money to live. Thank you. Goodbye.